what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A New York male nurse took a photo of coronavirus victims in body bags. The nurse who asked to remain unidentified along with the hospital he works at says he took the photo to show people how real it is. He says it's so real that even medical personnel is dying from this virus. The photo shows the inside of a refrigerated truck parked outside of the hospital's ambulance bay with what the nurse says is body bags filled with coronavirus victims. He said one of the deceased victims was one of his latest patients, a 71-year-old woman who died from coronavirus complications after she came to the hospital on Saturday complaining of shortness of breath. He said in the past, he didn't really have the patience to sit with someone who was dying until their last breath, but he took to this woman because he liked her style. He liked her cardigan and her pajamas. So he said he sat with her and he was there at her last moments, according to him. He said that the woman asked to not be intubated and she died overnight from complications of breathing. The nurse also revealed that he's Jewish and he likened the experience to the Holocaust. He said that's his only point of reference in terms of human tragedy. I can see that. I can respect that. I can respect the picture. It's graphic, but I can respect it. You know why? Because people need to see this. They need to see how real it is. You know, for some people, they just got to see it. You know how some people, you can warn them all you want. You can tell them a thousand times until they go out there and walk right into that damn wall. They will never believe that the wall can injure them. They, got, they just got to go and bump their head against that wall themselves. So I can respect that. I'd like to see more pictures. I'd like to see more graphic pictures. I want to see the actual bodies. I think it would be a good thing. Well, I don't necessarily have to see it myself because I believe what's going on. But for these other people out there, they should just show the bodies stacked up. Just show them, like show them in the flesh. Well, I, I guess that would be some type of, uh, there's a law against that. They can't just show people's identities. But maybe they can do something. Maybe they can get some people to sign off or something. But. People need to know how real this thing is. Now, here's something that's worth mentioning. The nurse said that the woman had a bandana tied around her hair. He said perhaps if she would have had it on her face, she might be still alive. That's something to think about. Here's something else to think about. Earlier in the story, I reported that the nurse said he wanted to remain unidentified along with the hospital he worked at. But the name of the hospital is clearly on the blue banner and the white wall that's in one of the photographs. Perhaps I'm missing something. Drop a comment, family. No more talk. What the mate is talking about. Yeah.